What do you think? About what? Everything I just told you. Yeah, sorry. I'm just knackered from lamin. <laughs> mm. I think I was right to tell Marlon. You know, he was going on about family being the only ones that you can trust. And it just felt really hypocritical. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Charity will grovel, Marlon will excommunicate her for a while, then get over it. Oversimplifying slightly, I wish. Oh. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah, yeah, uh, brew was just a bit hot. Here, do you fancy a proper drink? Yeah, I was sort of hiding. Life's too short. Put them big girl pants on and come on. <laughs> Hello, yeah, it, it, this is Andrew. If Pierce hadn't surfaced, when were you going to come forward? A month? A year? I mean, you had a plan, presumably. Oh, I'm bank on it. Why don't you go into the back room and save the public flogging? If I thought it'd help her understand what she's done. Well, I do understand, actually, yeah, because I've been inside myself. I mean, show me someone here who hasn't. Oh, me. Sorry. Listen, Marlon, we nicked that money in good faith, and I had good reason. Why well, we could blame you for getting arrested. Look, I'm just saying, surely you can see it from our point of view. We were sat on a... Big wad of cash and then we just lose it all. You had no right to it, it was stolen. Same as Mandy's casino money. And yet you're all happy to have a share of that, weren't you? But oh no, how quickly that got forgotten. Oh, you don't want me in this. Well, you're just as bad. Selling me to the papers without even consulting me on the day I got released. I mean, have you no sensitivity? Marlon, the article was positive. Oh, shut it, Mr. Honest Dingle. You're meant to be Cherry's conscience, Ryan. Okay, this is about timing. Can we go to the cafe instead? Too late. Our Mandy never put an innocent man in prison. Exactly. Thank you, Sammy. Which is why, thanks to Ryan, God bless him, he fessed up to Rona, and if Rona didn't dob us in, well, that's up to her. Blaming Rona now, that's rich. Marlon, the important thing was getting you out, OK? I didn't want to muddy things. At least Rona went to the police. It didn't occur to her not to. It wasn't her future at stake. No, it was mine, Charity. Why am I even surprised? Why? I'm so sick of the shallow, money-grabbing scumbags that pass for mates round here. Right, come on. Dive in before man does. Um, these are on the house, obviously. Oh, rude not to. <clears throat> come on, Marlon. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'll do whatever you want. You can't give my reputation back, can you? Or April's faith in the world. What you've done. I hope you're proud of yourself. Marlon deserved to know the truth. Really? And how's this helping anyone? Well, why is it just on them two anyway? I mean, did Vanessa know? You can keep her out of it. That's not an answer. Yeah, speak up, Vanessa. Don't be shy. Keep her out of it, all right? What? If she knew and kept quiet, she's as guilty as anyone. I did know. I'm sorry. That's why me and Charity fell out. OK, look, I thought she was busy soaking up the sun on our honeymoon when, in actual fact, Pierce had hold of her. So I think that's punishment enough. You're asking for pity? And you can drop the sanctimonious act and all, cos you knew. What? Yeah! He was with us when we were counting the cash. So he's as much to blame as anyone. I told you to come clean, to accept responsibility. That's a lost cause. You, Vanessa, Ryan, none of you had the guts to stick up for me. Marlon, you make it sound so easy! I'm family, OK? I'm not just some random stranger. Not anymore. You're the same disgusting sack of selfishness you've always been. You add nothing. You give nothing. Me and my kids are better off without you. Do you mind if we forget that drink, Ness? Yeah, sure. Still think he's gonna get over it? Oh, time heals. Well, most things anyway. Go on, go after him. If you weren't my partner, I'd buy you. No wonder Vanessa looks so ill. <laughs> 